Introduced in October 1908, the famous Ford Model T was already used in the first years of its operation for a wide variety of purposes, including as a commercial vehicle. But its load capacity was limited. Recognizing market demand, in 1917, Ford released a special truck version of the Model T designated the Model TT one-ton truck. Its rated load capacity was one short ton, or about 910 kilograms. The design of the TT truck was almost identical to the passenger T model. The same four-cylinder engine with 22 horsepower and a two-speed planetary transmission as well as the radiator hood and front fenders were installed on the truck. But the frame and transverse leaf suspension became heavier. Also, the wheelbase has extended from 100 to 125 inches. The Ford TT was equipped with various wheels and tires, depending on the purpose of the vehicle, but initially these were wheels with solid rubber tires at the rear. But the first TT models released by Ford did not reach civilian users since all of them were sent for military operations in Europe. Although Ford was a pacifist, he was happy to supply the U.S. Army with more than 12,000 of these vehicles. During World War I, the Model TT was standardized in the light class truck. The T and TT models was widely used by the U.S. and British armies as a staff car, ambulance, van and cargo truck, even as an artillery tractor, for which application the truck was fitted with twinned rear tires. After that, from 1918, sales were open to the public with at an opening price of $600. But the Ford TT was offered as a motorized chassis without a cab and a cargo platform. Bodywork could be provided by countless manufacturers and local shops in any desired configuration. The key element that transformed the humble Model T into a real work truck was its worm drive axle above, which replaced the standard bevel gear differential and doubled the final drive ratio from 3.63 to 1 to 7.25 to 1. Thus, the torque on the rear wheels was doubled, but the speed was reduced. The Model TT was very durable for the time, but slow when compared to other trucks. With standard gearing, a speed of not more than 24 kilometers per hour was recommended, and with special gearing, a speed of not more than 35 kilometers per hour was recommended. No matter, as the TT was still faster than a horse and wagon, and cheaper and easier to operate, too. Like the Model T, the Model TT can be serviced in almost any garage or even by a home mechanic with limited skills. Ford eventually dropped the price to $325 and offered several factory body styles, including a closed cab in 1925. Third party supplied every kind of body for the Ford one ton, from hucksters and panel wagons to dump trucks, even a Blue Bird school bus, while Warford, Jumbo, and others offered auxiliary overdrive transmissions to address the speed issue. Ford also offered a weekly shopping plan with payments as low as $5. From that time on, thousands of traders, small carriers, and farmers could afford their own trucks. More than 1.5 million Model TT trucks were produced between 1917 and 1927, and they helped to put American business on wheels. <laughs>